Hi, I'm, my name is Flora Fuentes and I am the owner and founder of Unique Hair Concepts in Ardsley, New York, which is only 20 minutes north of New York City. And today we're here for a special treat. We have traveled all the way from New York to Bologna, Italy to visit Cesare Ragazzi Laboratories, the creator and designer of the CNC 3D hair and scalp prosthetic. And with me is Michael Perlazza, who many of you may know him from some of my YouTube videos, who has assisted me with many tutorials, testing out different hair restoration technologies. And I wanted to bring in Michael so that he can provide his perspective of what it takes to design this beautiful hair and scalp prosthetic. So let's go. So when you visit me at my salon in Artsley, New York, Unique Hair Concepts, we start with an initial consultation. And if you decide to move forward with a CNC 3D hair and scalp prosthetic, I have to take what are called parameters, which are special measurements precisely designed for your head. And we start with what's called a scalp mapping or a bicast template mold. This scalp mapping basically designs the area of coverage or the area of hair loss. So this is Michael's bicast here at the laboratory. And this is Michael's Plaster of Paris mold that I took at Unique Care Concepts. These measurements take at least an hour because they're so precise and they're only designed for each individual wearer. And then your measurements or parameters, they're shipped here to Bologna, Italy at Cesare Ragazzi Laboratories in this beautiful state-of-the-art facility where the 39th step production begins. The next step when your parameters arrive to Bologna, Italy is that they're going to actually be read by the 3D printer. This is the part that the advanced technology is being utilized. So although Cesare Ragazzi has been around for almost 50 years, they are the first company to actually utilize 3D printing technology to replicate a second scalp. And that's why these measurements are so important and they have to be precisely made just for you. And it takes 39 steps. And it takes 39 steps to actually design and create a CNC 3D prosthetic. The next important step is the 3D printing. This is an advanced, technologically advanced 3D cam scam technology that's being utilized. This is the plaster mold that I took of your head. This is your imprint and this special uh, scanner is actually reading it and getting every little curve of your head because it only fits you and it's only made for you. And that's the 3D printer actually scanning and you can see it here on the monitor that it is basically plotting out your head shape. The 3D printer is actually now replicating your scalp. So this is what is being read on one side and then the digital image now is actually being imprinted onto the actual um, second scalp that's going to be designed just for you. And now that it's out of the machine, this is your scalp replica. Can I actually hold it in my own hand? Sure you may, absolutely. I mean, this is incredible. I remember the entire journey just to get this part done. And now this is, the, this is why they're so much into quality control. And this is just one of the steps. This is the bycast, the actual mapping that I took of your head. They have to actually check to make sure that it fits, and it does. Like See, a glove. It completely fits. So this is like a system of check and balance. There's so many different aspects of what makes the CNC 3D prosthetic so unique and different from any other hair replacement system in the marketplace. And one of them is the actual hair that's used. This is 100% healthy human hair that's never been processed. In addition, because your hair is a blend of dark and light and gray, the gray hair is also human hair. Whereas with other laboratories that are out there that design hair systems, they use synthetic gray, but Cesare Ragazzi doesn't. Cesare Ragazzi uses actual human gray hair. So this is Sandra here, who is working on creating and actually blending your hair for your prosthetic. She's a master, this is what she does. These are all artisans that have a special role in designing and creating your CNC. And what she's doing right now is actually blending the hair. So it will match and look exactly like your own growing hair. This is another important part of the process and that is to match your skin tone perfectly. The CNC is made out of a biomedical material that adapts to your body temperature. It is hypoallergenic, antifungal, and antimicrobial. In addition to that, it's the only hair system that's FDA compliant. And one of the reasons being, again, is because of the biomedical material. This part is so important and artistic because she's going to match your skin tone perfectly. 
Okay, now that Flora has matched your scalp tone perfectly, she is now painting it on to your scalp replica, shaped exactly to your head. And this is another part of the process that's ex extremely important. This is the actual biomedical material. This is the base. What touches your scalp? Michael, this is the moment we've been waiting for. Manuela here is actually working on creating your CNC 3D prosthetic. We went through the 3D aspect, we went through the hair selection, we went through the match, and now Manuela is actually injecting one hair at a time onto the base of your very own CNC 3D hair and scalp prosthetic. Well, there's anywhere between 80 hairs per square centimeter. So anywhere between 80 to 120 hairs per square centimeter based on the density that we choose for you. Because everything about the CNC is personalized for you. So we personalize your density. We personalize the texture, the color, the denier of the hair, which is the actual width of the strands of hair. And what Manuela is doing here is meticulous work. It, cre it requires artistry and it requires patience. craftsmanship and absolute <laughs> patience. Michael, this is an infrared photospectrometer used to measure the keratin level of the hair. So we don't just go by sight, washing, and inspection. We actually, the company uses science to measure the keratin level of the hair. So this is Raphael, and he's actually going to show us the difference between processed hair and human hair that's never been processed before. Michael, the blue light signifies the human hair that's never been processed before. And as you can see, it's very high up on the graph. The red line actually signifies the processed hair, the extension hair. And as you can see, the keratin level drops pretty significantly. Yeah. So going back to the CNC is made with biomedical materials. This is Brunella, who is part of the research and development department here at Cesare Ragazzi Laboratories. And that's part of her job. Her, her function is to test all of the biomedical material. And that's what she's doing right now. Raphael is now working on the quality of the biomedical material, the polymer that's used to, to make a CNC base, the prosthesis itself. And this is all under high quality control. Michael, another unique aspect that I want you to see about designing a CNC prosthesis is the fact that the company only works with human hair in its natural state. So this is hair that's never been processed before, and this is a deep curl and as you can see the difference between very curly to a beautiful wave and then longer hair with wave so this goes through every spectrum every type of hair you can imagine pretty much every single spectrum and also the actual denier of the hair which means denier basically signifies the fact that the width of the hair strand some hair strands are thin, some are what we call medium, and then there are some that are thick. So when your sample is taken, they analyze it and they match it according to your hair type. So it's not only color, it's not only texture, but also denier of hair. And you could see that the company has a variation of hair from all the over the world. Textures and softness that they each Michael, I want to thank you for taking this trip with me all the way from New York to Bologna, Italy to tour Cesare Ragazzi Laboratories to meet the people that actually take the time to inject the hair onto this beautiful 3D hair and scalp prosthetic. You got to witness the biomedical materials, the research and development, the 3D printing aspect, but also the work behind designing a CNC. As a hair loss professional for over 20 years, this has been a life changer for me. It has given me the opportunity to help men, women, and children with hair loss, but in addition to helping those that have suffered from scalp trauma, that, have, that are burn survivors, it has allowed me to open up and help more because of the fact that this is hypoallergenic, biomedical, and FDA compliant. And I'm just so thankful that you're here to see it all from beginning to end. That's something I really loved about the product from the beginning. 
from the moment you sat me down to measure my scalp, to look at my hair color, to look at what's going on, period. I was losing my hair. There was no other chance for me to do anything new. I was afraid of operations. I didn't like the Nick products. I didn't like certain things I tried. When this came along, I realized my life was going to be different. The moment it was placed on my head for the first time, I could not stop looking at every mirror, every reflection that showed me the new me that I had become. And not just the new me, but the return of someone with confidence, strength, and the ability to swim, shower, live a normal life, work out and not worry about this falling off or falling out of place, moving anywhere or sweating off me. It was, it was a big change. It was fantastic for me. And I appreciate this product. I appreciate now more than ever everyone out there that took the time to make this piece, this piece, me. Thank you. Thank you.